Hello everybody, my name is Parik, and in today's video I'm going to go fight a Shogun Sienitar with the Insect Glaive. Here is my build for the time being, it is still just my standard elemental template build for the Insect Glaive, Rocking Mel of Hellfire, Strife, basically everything that hurts and makes you deal more damage except Berserk, with the Attack Boost 3, LM Exploit 1 and 3 2 slot talisman. Here are all the skills and decorations, all the green numbers are from decorations of course, should do quite a decent bit of damage. And today I'm rocking the Alakanid, this is because I'm going to be doing some Awakened King insect attacks. And of course here is the lad, level 300 Shogun. While the game is loading, please consider subscribing, over 80% of you are not. Alrighty, let's go. So of course I want to go into my other scroll because I get an element boost which is pretty beneficial to this build at least. So we get the... We basically get everything. That's a very small crab. Let's grab that, grab that as well. Gonna try and explain how to use Awakened Kinsect Attack a little bit, because uh, I did have someone ask in my Discord, which, if you're not in the Discord by the way, I generally respond pretty often in there, because it's a lot more consistent than YouTube is, so it's a lot easier for me to get in contact. Just wait for the third one, and then we'll probably Awakened Kinsect Attack in, because he should take a while to get up, so we get plenty of time to hit him. But essentially you want to use Awakened Kinsect Attack if you were going to use the... Kinsect, like this, so I, I would be doing Kinsect attacks to him to actually land damage, so I did that instead and then we land, or when your buffs are about to run out, but it's a little bit hard to tell in this game when that is of course, or we just got away, we take those into another one of these, nice to, got my good buffs again as well, we land, roll out of there, he didn't give me anomaly blight through any of that unfortunately, so we just got to max pot it up, Wait for that, go back to him with the attack. Oh, we got a knockdown, nice. We're just going to sit here for a bit because I don't think I can go under him. Recall. Uh, our bread and butter combo does do more than Awakened Kinsect attack. As you're seeing, we are doing some pretty solid damage to his face. So you definitely want to be doing raw combos instead of aerial or spamming Awakened Kinsect attack when you can. Um, but since we got the anomaly break, we can actually be pretty aggressive with, with him here. So we are going to do exactly that come back to me of course so I don't need to do anything out of that okay again don't need to do anything we got a powder mantle there for extra damage as well and the knockdown very juicy do some basic combos to get some damage out until he gets enraged of course roll towards ah dang that's all right I think I rolled too early that's fine would be great if he gave me an only blight but he is he is refusing to and that's okay Waking Kinsect after him. There we go, he's enraged again. And we got the knockdown. Let's hit the claw so we get our red buff. Glide over his claw. Straight to the face. Excellent. I probably didn't have to recall Kinsect there, but that's okay. Oh, I hate that attack so much. That's unfortunate timing, to say the least. But at least we got Anomaly Blight. So I can actually heal Andy Monster Mine. Thank you. So I can actually heal up a little bit. I love my cats so much. They've saved me so many times. Oh, the stagger. Okay. Nice. Some more damage out. I do have Heaven Sent as well if we need to get Sharpness back. So we can easily do that. Get away. Nice. We get damage here. Of course. Yeeteth. I think we broke something. Poor lad. Didn't get our other buffs so we just send it there to get it. Of course. Just so we can send the Awakened Kinsect attack if we ever need to. Send a Kinsect at him real quick. Get damage in. There we go. Alright. All the big sweep. I think we swap here just to get some sharpness and swap back to get the somewhat optimal elements. It doesn't matter too much. It's only like 5%, I think. It's only towards the raw side. It's not even the um, elemental side. Which this build has both, so it really isn't that big of a deal. We also got another anomaly check there, so we can be quite aggressive here for a little bit. So we are going to do exactly that, of course. Because he shouldn't stagger us too heavily as long as we're attacking. That's generally how it works. Unless you get hit by like a big thing. Kind of that just in case. Big swings. He probably... Oh, okay. We take that. Get over to him. Get some more damage in. Why is he just walking away from me slowly? <laughs> Whatever. We take those. Get back here. We haven't broken his uh, shell so he's not going to go underground or anything. We'll just do basic things to do damage. Oi. Stop walking away from me. There we go, now he's angry. Spin? He didn't spin. What's he doing out of this? Alright. Big stabs, yep. One, two. We get to hit him a bit. 
just hitting him in the butt because it's somewhat safe and it's good to bait out the uh, sweep attack since we have very good range damage like this. Send it. Yeeteth. Oh, we got a stagger and the shell break. Hit the claw real quick so we get our other buff. Dodge that. Big damage. He should go underground so we got to watch for that. He will like leave combat essentially for a little bit. I should have just done damage to the legs here because it would have done more damage than the claw. But that's okay. Go to the side that doesn't have a claw. Oh no. Dodge it at the last second. There we go. Get some more damage on him. Very solid. Ah, I thought he was doing the full circle. Okay, big slams. Easy stuff. We get damage. There's the spin. Roll through it. Send it. Oh! Okay, that works. He came back to me. We take those. Go straight to his head. I think this should hit. Yeah, we take those. Right. Give me my other buff. No, quick! Ah, we didn't get it. He will attack you if you come out of the ground right on top of him. Or if you're standing right on top with that claw there. Oh, he's got the monoblast shell. Oh! We got our buff so I can send it. Oh, I don't think I got it in time. Yeah, I didn't. So it did much less. But that's okay. We'll get it back. Huh? Okay. I guess him going underground wasted time. That's unfortunate. But it happens. Big sweep. Yep. Alright. Go back to him. Angry again. He's also blue. Not bad. Unfortunate that I was too close in an, ah, bah, 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 bah. In an animation so I couldn't do anything there. But that's alright. We'll do extended combo here because I think he's going to move pretty quick. Same thing. Oh, we got an anti-monster mine. Thank you very much, shield. And a buki, of course. Get out of there. Send it. Ah. Got staggered out of it. We take those. Free damage. Go for the claw so we get our red. Oh, nice. We get good damage here. This is a very good attack to try and bait out if you can. Because you land a lot of solid damage. Nice. I think that's a 6 minute crab too. Yeah, 629. Not bad at all. Love me some Awakened Kinsect attack. It's so much fun. Funnily enough, I chose like one of the perfect monsters to test it too. Because that sweeping attack you usually can't approach at all. And the Awakened Kinsect attack is perfect to get damage in while you can't get him. And as I said, exactly the same build I showed at the start. It's very simple to make. Some annoying augments to get. But there are some skills you can trade like here for skills plus. And then evade extender is just real easy. Another mail strife. Yeah, it's another five percent damage, but you don't need it. And yeah, the talisman obviously you just need attack boost three with like one slot. It doesn't even need all three by the looks. Well, everybody, that was some more insect glaive gameplay. This time against the level three hundred shogun sienata, while utilizing some awakened kinsect attack and uh, explaining it a little bit better because it's kind of hard to see when you should use it since a lot of your like grand or aerial combos will do more than the attack so it's kind of awkward to try and fit it into your playstyle but i think i've shown a pretty good way to do it if you want to try it out yourself as always though thank you so much for watching and i hope to see you in the next one